Yo, bring the fire all summer long with the Big Three and your homeboy Ice Cube. Starting July 10th on CBS, Driller, and Fight TV. That's right, every Saturday. Bring the fire with the Big Three, baby. You know what I mean? We just changed the sound of it, and the new generation changed the concepts and kept the sound. So yeah, they should give us props, man. You know what I mean? That's just only really real a real one would do. That's just like me saying, oh. "N.W.A. Them niggas ain't man. I, why? How could I disrespect my fo my forefathers? I don't know where that come from." You know what? I'm glad you did say something. And as a culture, I'm sure the people that grew up watching and, and enjoying y'all music, glad you said something. Simply for the fact of. They may not understand that shit now because we all been young in this day and age and these young boys are totally different than what we were now. But I feel like eventually that G check that you had to give them would will resonate and go, you know what? Yeah, he's right. We got to do this the right way. So I'm glad it's on wax. And I also feel like it gave Bone Thugs another introduction to maybe young ears that ain't heard you and got people listening to the music. So all in all, even through the negativity, I think it all in all will come out as a positive for y'all Bone Thugs. So salute to that. I want to talk about you and, and you and the bro busy. How are y'all doing? And is there any way you guys can reconcile? I mean, it ain't really nothing to reconcile. I love busy like my little brother, like a no. little son, like no. a son, like a baby brother. Like it ain't nothing for me to reconcile. You know what I mean? It's just like even even him. Our only differences is we seen. I think we've seen the money thing a little different. You know, I always was the front man for Bone Thugs and Harmony when it came to getting us deals and handling business and things like that. My only thing was I had to stay in the frying pan the whole time. I ain't had time to bail out. Like, oh, shit ain't going right, so fuck that. I ain't coming to the show. Or I, ain't, I couldn't punish Bone like that. Yeah. He didn't understand was he made it a a thousand times harder for me to make plays for Bone Thugs and Harmony because one of the most outstanding members of the group wasn't cooperating, was having a problem. So I don't have a problem with him. I understand what his gripe was, but the only thing for me is I had to deal with the issues. I couldn't turn my back on the issues. I couldn't disappear for a year or two years. You know what I mean? And, and if you notice, Bone Thugs and Harmony, yeah, we broke up a few times, but we family, man. we family, man. Like the yeah. door, the door never shut on Busy Bone. It's Art. always been a revolving door. This door been doing this the whole time. He can come in right now. Maybe the business still ain't the way he wanted, but I'm so close to owning our masters and so close to to really like checkmating the whole game now. I can now I can claim nigga I did that. He can't say that. He just all he sat back and did and said what he had to say. You know what I mean? But the battle was on, period. So I don't have nothing to reconcile with Busy Bone. I love Busy Bone. If any nigga out there in the streets try to touch him, I'm I come for their head. And anybody that know me know I don't play no games when it comes to my motherfucking family or my money. So yeah, appreciate that. It being business, I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, that the business is good. So when I do kick my feet up at 50, my kids and the ones coming after us won't have that problem. But I fought that good fight. Crazy Bone fought that fight. You know what I mean? Flesh and Bone fought that fight. And Wish and Bone fought, Wish Bone fought that fight. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And, um, if he want to come around. If he want to deal with what, like, don't don't play us like the money ain't good enough, nigga. We gotta we gotta always get to it because our money start they start trying to give us fucked up deals when a nigga walked off tour. So with that being said, I've been wanting to clean that up. He caused a lot of shit himself, and we all did. So once niggas point in the finger and own it like that, then we cool. Come on home, nigga. This home. Wherever he at, that's right. yeah. But this home right here, yeah. I mean, you guys have been through a lot, man. But like you said, broke up, got back together, and everything. Um, so we definitely going to iron itself out. But real quick, my last question, I mean, I can keep too much longer. Would be you talked about, you know, you guys got so much longevity, 
in your group and everything, but talk about, you know, how hard it is to keep groups together in general. Yeah. You, you, you pretty much, I don't know if it was you, but one member said, you guys got to kind of have certain things in common outside of just music to keep the group together. So talk about your longevity, man. And you guys just, you know, still stick, staying strong to today. Uh, man, our longevity of sticking together, man, we, we had it so rough, man, coming up, man, like far as being kids in the streets of Cleveland, Ohio, man, like we actually was each other's brothers and fathers and each other's mentors at a young age, like each other's advisors and things like that. So those experiences is like whatever we go through with Busy Bone or I go through with Busy Bone, nothing trumps the fact that, you know, he had my back hell sleet of snow you know what i'm saying nothing trumps the fact that we all slept in the shack together homeless in los angeles you know what i'm saying nothing could ever ever trump that man it's just like bone thugs and harmony man we've been through so much that to the point where our parents even when we was going through it mama p and sweet no and and, and and mama busy and all of them they got on the phone like they was like what the fuck are y'all doing you know what i mean like she when your when the mamas get involved yeah <laughs> uh, you know what i'm saying it's like what can you do man you all, all you can do is just grow and learn so we went through all those little cycles and things like that and i believe bone thugs and harmony is far from finished as you can see you know that youth guy gave us that gift of youth you know what i'm saying so it's like i believe it's a, still a message we had changed the world we had crossroads teach the world all those different songs that we had that touch people heart that they would come to me and be like man y'all saved my life or changed my life or i went to college because uh, i made it through college because of these songs i believe we got a few more messages as a group that we've yet to get to and until guys plan is done the world ain't through hearing from us bottom line man we we brothers period appreciate that bro we definitely appreciate it we definitely appreciate your time it was an honor to have you on my final question would you for you brother on this afternoon or this evening now let's bring everything full circle because like we started off with you got a son in hip-hop now and he's doing the damn thing jay house is really doing the damn thing man talk about looking at your son now becoming a little bit of a, a, a problem in the hip hop game and how proud that must be as a father. Oh man, I'm telling you, boy, I'll be melting, just my heart melt. And not only my son, Jay House, Jay House was on the record with me when he was five years old, called hmm. The Backyard. And he in his mid twenties now. And right. my son, Stephen House, just released music. My daughter, Trinity, my son, Stephon, you know, oh. All my kids are so musically inclined that I just want to be there to guide their career. And when I hear them do their thing and then they do their own thing, they don't do the bone shit. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes they do the bone shit, but they got their own favor, man. It's it's just, it's, it's a miracle that God gave us music and now it's becoming generational wealth with from us just following our dreams like if we hadn't got on that bus ain't no telling what our lives would be or where our children would be right now we was able to take care of our family so man i'm i'm looking at music i love where it's at with the internet i love the fact that you know i can put my music out whenever i want to however i want to i can book a tour whenever i want to mm -hmm. i can take my kids out on the road with me when i want to you know what I'm saying? So I'm just loving this game. I'm loving life, man. I'm glad we went to, to the school of hard knocks and this shit because I feel like I got it mastered now. And uh, and I feel like I'm just getting started all over again, man. Indeed. We definitely appreciate your time. Definitely yes. appreciate all your honesty, transparency, and candidacy on the Hip Hop Offensive Podcast this evening, brother. Thank you so much. Drop your social media handles, anything you want to give to the people before we get up out of here, brother. The floor is yours. Okay, Facebook man, official Lazy Bone is my uh is my Facebook, Lazy Bone Facebook. You can always go to the Bone Thugs and Harmony Facebook site to find out anything. IG, I'm the real Lazy Bone. Um, 
you know, I got the blue check on there, the real lazy ball. A lot of niggas try to be me. But um, yeah, and also my website, harmonyhouseent.com, and also my uh, merchandise website, uh, lazygear.com, L-A-Y-S-D-I-E-G-E-A-R.com. And uh, just follow me on Instagram, man. I'm linked in to everything. I'm always posting pictures and I'm always letting the world know what we're doing via Inst uh via Instagram and, and and Twitter and all that. So that's what I'm doing, man. Follow me. You know, roll with the bone, more thug on follow. It's still it's still the same. Yes, sir. Definitely appreciate you. Lazy Bone, the OG on the hip hop and sensor podcast, <laughs> Bone Thugs and Harmony. Salute.